Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can use Kami to annotate and share PDFs. You can find this at KamiHQ.com. Let's go ahead and sign in. Now I've signed into my account. I'm using the free account. There is a premium version that unlocks more features, but in this demonstration, we're using just the free version of it. And we can pull a file from Google Drive or open from your computer. And I'm going to import this PDF right here. Now on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see the tools that we can use to annotate this PDF. So for example, let's say I want to use just a simple drawing. Go over here and I can choose the color that I want to use to draw the size of the line that I'm going to draw and now I'm going to go in and just highlight that little section. Now if I want to add a note to this let's go over here and add a comment. I'm going to add a text comment right here. You'll see I clicked on the screen that little dot is at the end of my line I'm going to say to like replace desktop version with pro version. Now you'll notice there is a voice typing option, but if you try that, you're going to be prompted to upgrade to the paid plan. So a lot of features that are available in the paid plan, uh, but the basics of annotating the PDF are available for free. Uh, you can insert an image. You can also put some shapes in here. So if you want to you know, highlight the entire section and then comment on it, you can do so. So now we have some comments and our annotations here in the PDF. Let's go ahead and save this now. And we can upload it to Google Drive. You can save it to your Kami account. And you can also download your annotated version. Up here in the right hand corner, we can turn off the comments. And you can see we can also split the view of our PDF. So if we want to share this with others, click on this share document. And now we have a link to share that document. And you can see here I have set it so that anyone with the link can annotate. You can also turn that option off. You can see share your annotations or not. And you can allow others to download or not download that file. I'm going to copy that link. Now I can put that link wherever I would want to share it, including Google Classroom. So that's how you can do some simple PDF annotations by using Kami, which again, you can find at KamiHQ.com. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.